With BAT, you qualify to participate in BPA, earn Microsoft certifications, learn office procedures, do fun simulations, and group projects. With accounting, you can get accounting certificates, learn to do taxes, budgeting, financial analysis, and payroll accounting. There are no prerequisites for accounting. Um, I recommend that you be um, either a high math student as a 10th grader if you choose to take accounting or an 11th or 12th grader just because that will give you the basis for what you need for this class. Equipment that we use for the classes, we use some simulation software that's online. We use the Office 365 suite that we're using as a district right now. Um, we also use the um, Microsoft Office Suite that's um, loaded on all of our computers. Um, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, those kind of things. Um, in accounting, we use QuickBooks and we use an online program called Applia. Um, so we have screens. Um, I do have dual monitors coming in so that it can be set up um, where the assignment can be on one screen and then the student can be working um, on their assignment on the other screen. Um, and as you kind of are out in the business world, you, you go into a doctor's office or a bank or the secretary of state, wherever you go, you're seeing that most places do have two monitors. So um, we are getting those that installed for the future of our program. Um, and then I just, you know, we have the computer equipment that we use in the course. Um, I also try to implement some things like um, the, the student's personal cell phones using as a business type tool or a learning tool um, to use their calendar to set up reminders, things like that, so that they can use it for good purposes, not just maybe texting or playing games on it, so that they can start learning how they would use it, you know, more as an adult than as a student. What qualifications do you have for teaching this class? Okay, so to teach um, business management operations and, I'm sorry, it's business administration management and operations. Our class is called BAT, but that's the SIP code that we're under for the state of Michigan. And in the state of Michigan, to teach for that, you have to have um, 4,000 hours of working experience in the business world in that field, um, as well as a teaching certificate. What is taught in this class? In the BAT class, um, we have BAT 1 and BAT 2, um, we go through quite an extensive uh, list of things um, throughout the whole year. Um, we look at HR and personal administration, so we do resumes, we learn about sort of hiring and firing people, what the laws are for that, um, safety in the workplace, what your rights are as student workers and as, as you become adult workers. Can anyone join this class? BAT 1 is a required class, um, and the reason it is required is because we meet the 20 hour online minimum um, requirement that the state of Michigan has set in place. So the state of Michigan has said that every student um, K through 12 has to do some work and that should work should total 20 hours of working in an online environment. and that. Um, we meet that qualification in this class with some simulations and some other things that we do online. What made you choose to continue BAT and take part two? Um, well, I wanted to learn about personal finances and I knew that class would help me. How will this class help you in your future? This class will help me in the future because in the class there was actually a personal finance section and I believe that is what I will take most from this class into my future is you know, we learn how to write personal checks, balance a checkbook. What career field are you aiming for? I'm aiming for a career in investing, banking, uh, you know, probably a major in finance. Do you think most of what this class teaches is useful for most careers? Yes, this class is useful for most career fields. It's not only for people who want to start a business or make their business grow, but I think this class could be used for pretty much any field you want to go into. How difficult is a math and accounting compared to regular math classes? I don't think it's as difficult as like your trig and calculus classes. It's more of like a real world math to where like it's basically just adding, multiplying, subtracting, division. It just it's like a story problem, but it's not it's nothing near like trigger anything I'd say it's fairly easy and a lot of its percentages too so it's not as hard as the others it's just a straight you know what the answer is going to be it's not like impossible to figure out do you think learning accounting is important for students in their future 
I think no matter what major you're going into or if you're even going to college, um, you're going to use accounting in everyday life, whether you are balancing your checkbook or making payments on like your house one day. But I definitely recommend it for everyone. And then I think accounting too would be really great for someone who's going into accounting or finance or business. Definitely for personal finance, it'd be great so others can know how to balance their checkbook and other stuff like that. Has your class done any interesting projects on accounting? We do online simulations. Not so much. I guess the entire class is kind of like a project. Um, we're always, like, we have, like, a virtual business type thing, and we just do, like, the everyday accounting like a normal accountant would. So we don't necessarily do book works and lectures. The whole class is pretty much, like, hands-on applying everything, so it's almost kind of like one big project. Yeah, we haven't done any, like, real hands-on, like, in-group projects or anything. We've done simulations where it's you type in something on the computer and it does it for you and then you have to figure out how to fix a problem. So it's more life kind of um, life applying simulations. Do you think what is taught in this class is valuable for real world scenarios? Absolutely. Accounting is probably one of the most valuable classes I think that you can take as an elective here because everything is a business, whether it's your own personal life or what you do in your career. Uh, when you look at job descriptions, um, like a friend of mine just wanted to become a nurse um, manager of a floor at a hospital. She had to have some business background. So regardless of what kind of career field you may think you're going into, the, having some financial background or at least understanding some of that can help you because there's always things that need to be budgeted for. Um, you know, we're, we're in a society where there's always like, okay, we got this extra money, how do we spend it? We don't have enough money, how do we allocate it? And so accounting can really help you look at things and narrow down, um, right down to the dollar amount of what you need to do. So whether you you know, you're going into the business world, you want to go into marketing, management, um, engineering, construction, auto mechanics. I think accounting is one of the best classes you can take because it will give you that basis of finances. Um, you can look at even a lot of celebrities have been swindled by accountants because they didn't know how to even look at and manage their own money. This gives you at least a background of, okay, at least I know what my money should be doing, where my money should be going and things like that. So it's really just great information for a student or a person in life to have accounting knowledge. Um, throughout my life, students that I've had in the past always come back and thank me for their accounting class as one of their more valuable classes that they've taken in high school, as well as some people say they wish they would have taken it because they think they would do better with their finances now if they had a little more knowledge when they were younger. How long have you been teaching this class? I've been teaching accounting for about five or six years now. And then I've been teaching BAT type classes for almost 10 years now. How difficult is the math and accounting compared to regular math classes? <clears throat> the math and accounting really is not that difficult. It's typically your normal add, subtract, multiply, and divide. It's just that we're looking at the numbers in a little bit of a different way. Um, so the math portion of it really is not the hard part. The hard part is there are certain rules that apply to accounting, and those rules are set by the general accounting practices that govern the United States, and then there are um, accounting practices that govern other countries.